Hello everyone, Mike Rempel from Excel Bytes with today's Excel Bytes blog post. Recently I had a request to come up with a way using the SUMIFS function to dynamically be able to add values that are related to dates that would be always from today through 10 days prior or 20 days prior to today. And then every day when he opened this file, it would update from that given day to again 10 or 20 or 30 days prior to that. So it would be dynamic every day it would update with a new range. So let's see how we can accomplish this in Excel. So here's our scenario. In column A I have a list of dates that goes from December 1st all the way till January 31st of next year and just some random values associated with that. So the first scenario I want to show is how we can use the SUMIFS function to add all the values that are between 50 and 100. And there's two ways we can do that. So the first way I'm going to say in this cell here equals SUMIFS and my SUM range is going to be from B2 down to B63 and I'm going to lock that comma. My criteria range is also the same and again, I'm going to hit F4 to lock that. And my criteria, my first criteria, and I have to put it in quotes, I want it to be less than or equal to 100. And I'm going to close that. And then my second criteria, again, I have to use the same range of column B for this, comma, in quotes, I'm going to put greater than or equal to 50. I'll close the quotes, close my parentheses, hit enter, and I get 1614. So there's my formula. B2 to B63 is my sum range, and then the same range, I want the criteria to be less than or equal to 100, and the same range greater than or equal to 50. Now, if I want to, instead of hard coding in those values, I want to reference specific cells, just to make this easier, I'm going to copy it down and we're going to just edit it to say that I want it to be less than or equal to, but what I need to do here is I need to put the operations in quotes, then the ampersand sign, and then reference the cell I want to reference. Same thing here, I'm going to put double quotes there the ampersand signed and then reference these values or the values in cell E3, hit enter, and now I get the exact same result, but now I've made a dynamic. So if I want to change this to 125, it will automatically update. I'm just going to change that back. So notice that if you're hard coding in a value, you can put it right in within the double quotes, but if you're referencing a cell, you need to put the operations greater than, less than, equal to, etc. in double quotes, then the ampersand, and then the cell you want to reference. Okay, now let's use that same logic and we're going to look at summing up the values that fall between two dates. So what I have here is in cell E9 I have equals today minus 10 and in E10 I have equals today. So there's my 10 day range. So in cell G9, I'm going to type equals sum ifs. My sum range again is going to be the values in column B. I'm going to lock those. My criteria range is column A now with the dates. F4 to lock those. And my first criteria, again, I have to put it in double quotes. I'm going to put greater than or equal to, close my double quotes, the ampersand and the today function minus 10 and then my next set of criteria again same set of dates F4 comma my criteria is going to be less than or equal to close that ampersand and today close that and today close it for the sum ifs function hit enter 967 is the value or the sum that I get. And if I want to check that, I can select these cells from 12.9 to 12.19, go down and check, and 9.67 is in fact 
the correct answer. Now again, if instead I want to reference these cells so that I can even change the dates uh, to whatever ones I want, I'm just going to copy this down. And again, with the same logic that we used, all I need to do is change the today function minus 10 to be that cell and then just the today function here to be this cell hit enter and again I get the same answer now if I want to manually change these dates it will automatically update so if I want to change this to say 12 1 19 again I get a larger value because I've expanded the range so that's how you can accomplish this in Excel so thanks for watching this tutorial if you found it beneficial, please share it, like it, or give it a thumbs up. And if you haven't yet, please subscribe to my blog at my website, excel-bytes.com, or any of the social networks you see below. Have a great day, and happy excelling.